The concept of a no movie um, came about in the early 70s. Uh, uh, I used to use a uh, 35 millimeter camera. Uh, I was uh, back then. Uh, you know, money was something that was non-existent, and uh, it would come far and in between. Uh, I hadn't really fully uh, appreciated money at that point. One of the things though, that I did appreciate was how easy it is to waste money and I decided that I would be very um, uh, effective initially. That was sort of my focus, was to be effective in anything I did uh, because by the time I started art, doing any kind of art, I had already gone through a very severe period of uh, growing up in East Los Angeles, had experienced uh, all of the major riots in East LA, I had actually witnessed uh, much of counterculture music, for instance. I uh, decided that the people I was working with in OSCO, uh, uh, you know, which was Grant, Patsy, Willie Heron, and Humberto Sandoval, uh, that I would start photographing them and myself to create various scenes and uh, situations. And so we would create different uh, situations uh, that would look as though they were a scene out of a movie, but there was no movie. And that's where the normal became. In the 70s, when this work was produced, uh, the normal movies were produced only in the 70s, um, uh, very limited access to distribution. And so the people that would actually see them projected, for instance, uh, were, other, were university students usually, or in cultural centers. But quite often, I would project my images on uh, exterior walls, uh, go to a parking lot and project it really big on a building, uh, project it on freeway pillars, uh, project, project it sometimes from a building onto an actual parking lot or a street uh, so you'd have to actually experience it and quite often what I would do is I would shoot scenes in a particular neighborhood and then uh, during the daytime usually and then come back at night and then project them in night in the same neighborhood sometimes even on the same walls where the events had taken place and what it was it was sort of a reflective of the way it is in LA where things are constantly moving in the landscape because uh, you know there's so many people, things are ever changing, and um, and quite often things are very ephemeral. They're sort of only momentary, and people were able to then see that something very absurd had taken place, very political had taken place, or very beautiful or fashionable had taken place in a place that's oftentimes overlooked or never remembered. 